hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you uh, how we can manage the post metadata so what is metadata metadata is the extra information of your particular data so in this in this video we are going to see uh, post metadata that means extra data for the post for your WordPress post so first of all let me open my local site and I will go into the backend and on the other side i will open the php my admin so this is the database for the local site so we have this post over here and uh, we have our custom post type as well books if you don't know how to create custom post type then link is coming on the top right corner in the i button go and watch that part to create a new post type so for for what is post meta and how it looks in wordpress database so wordpress has basically two tables for the post one is wp underscore post another one is the post meta this two so let's open one by one So this is post here you will have the main data for particular post like post author date content title excerpt status etc but uh, other data that belongs to the this post will be there in this post meta table so for example <coughs> For example, if you want to have a new data for your plugin which belongs to your post, then uh, you can use this table post meta where you can store your meta values for particular post. So uh, there are three type three ways we can handle the metadata. One is by adding another one is by updating and third one is by deleting the metadata so we will we will see each of these one by one so let me <clears throat> open one thing open this URL I will provide the URL in the description section and here you can read about what is metadata and all but I am going to cover all of this uh, in this video so that's okay if you don't read and if you want to read by yourself you can do it so <clears throat> first we need to add a metadata so for adding metadata there is a function called add post meta this is the function add post meta so let me open this particular post so where when you can add your post meta like when you can handle your post meta so it can be handled during the saving saving your post so for that let's see uh, let's try to add one post meta for post so we will look into one of the example over here
okay there is no particular example but yeah let's try to save a metadata when a post saves so whenever wordpress post saves this action is called save post this action called while we save the post data post first let's see uh, how many arguments this action handles so search save post in wordpress google so it has one two and three three arguments but but we can pass only one that's okay so uh, i will add priority 10 that's okay default priority will be 10 and by default it will pass a post id and this is coming from wordpress so you don't need to worry how this is coming this is all handled by wordpress this action is for wordpress now let's try to add post meta so we can use add post meta what are the arguments first is the post id which is coming from here second is the meta key meta key is the key which you can define within your plugin so i'm going to define test meta key and value as of now we will add yes a static value so whenever post is saved it is it will be it this metadata will be added in the post meta table so let's let's try that refresh this post id is one so let me open only <coughs> those data which has post id one so this is post id one's metadata which is one two three only three metadata is there now i will edit something so that we can save this once we save this action will be triggered and in the action we have added post metadata so now in the database we will have this metadata added so let's go for post meta and hit refresh so as you can see uh, it is called twice because save post called on each <coughs> uh, each status so we can handle the status like this okay we can do something like this if it is updating we can return so for that i can add three things and we can use something like this <clears throat> so if it is updating then return now it should add single time but you got the idea right whenever we hit the update button or save <coughs> it will add a new metadata so as you can see 
uh, not sure why it is adding two times okay it is adding two times because we used add post to meta so it will keep adding all the times so this is how we can add post meta mostly we we should avoid this add metadata instead of doing that we can use update metadata so what is update post meta so if there is a meta key available in the meta table then it will update the meta value otherwise it will add one post meta so similar arguments will be there for the update post meta <coughs> now i will do this no so it will change the meta value to no as you can see other both meta key become no now let me delete this and store it again now this should add only one meta key so as you can see it is only one meta value for this post so uh, it is always useful to use update post meta instead of add post meta you can use add post meta by altering some conditions over here so this is based on your requirement but most of the time i use update post meta now last one is the deleting post meta so if you want to delete the post meta you can use this key uh, use this function delete post meta so it take this argument post id then the meta key which meta key you want to delete so i will add this our custom meta key and meta value if you specify a meta value then it will check if it is the if the value is match then only it will delete the post meta as of now i'm not going to match the value so let's see here is the meta key now let me save this now that meta value should be deleted this whole row should be deleted so as you can see that metadata is deleted so this is how you can manage your metadata from the wordpress um yeah that's it there is no more thing for the how to handle metadata and yeah please let me know if you have any doubt or question write down below in the comment section Thanks for watching the video.